Hope everybody's having a good day today. I come out here to my grandparents. Uh, I was gonna shoot my new gun I bought today. Um, I bought an XDS Springfield XDS. It's kind of windy. I don't know if the audio is gonna be good at all, but I didn't really have a place to go. My grandparents wasn't here. and um, I thought I might try to shoot, but um, depends on if I can get a place set up. Got some targets, but anyway, um, I decided on the Springfield I had looked at three different guns. I was looking at the Glock 43. Um, that was kind of a secondary, but mainly I was looking at the two, these two guns, the XDS and the uh, M&P Smith & Weston um, Shield. Um, but then the Glock, I saw it too, and I, I was kind of comparing the three. But the reason I went with this one, the XDS, instead of the M&P was because, uh, or the Glock either one, was because it had a uh, grip safety. And being a grip safety, if you're gonna put it in your pocket or on your waistline, I still like that this one had the grip safety and then the S&P only had the regular safety. Um, but I like this one, when you pick it up, it's ready to go. So that's why I like the XDS. And the XDS come in a box, um, you know, hard box with padding. And uh, I think the shield just comes in a cardboard box and the Glock, I just, I decided with a Glock, that that's a better gun if you're gonna get a full size. So I may get a Glock 19 or something. I don't want anybody to think I'm bashing them. I just had never had one. And um, I believe I'd rather have a bigger gun if I'm gonna get a Glock and the wind's picking up again. But uh, the shield's a great gun. I think that's probably what my dad will get one day. Um, but I just ended up liking the XDS better. It felt better in my hand. Um, the trigger seemed a little quicker on the shield um, but both of them were fairly quick, so there's not a not a big pull like with this gun, this little 380 I got. But the trigger pull on this 380, it's a Caltech 380, is just a really long pull. But that's because you don't have a safety or anything. It's just a really long pull. It's like having a double action, almost like my uh, 357 over there. I've got a Ruger 357. Um, but I like this because you can put it in your pocket. It's a good pocket gun. But um, I wanted a bigger gun, so that's why I went with a small nine. Um, I knew it had the box, but I had no idea. I knew it come with the gun, the box, and the extended mag, and the regular mag. Had no idea it had a lock with it, and it's also got a bore cleaner, I guess that's what it is. Um, looks like a pipe cleaner. Um, but it also, what I had no idea is that it come with was a magazine clip, um, like holster, I guess, magazine holster. And it also comes with a holster for the gun, which that was just a plus. I mean, like I said, I bought the gun and then they brought this out and it had these other two things in there. So, I mean, I figure with the attachments and everything, I mean, that's probably 80 bucks worth of stuff that you get with the XDS that the other guns, I, as far as I know, you don't get. Um, you may with a Glock, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure with the Shield, uh, you don't get much anything, maybe a lock or something, but uh, anyway, and you do get two clips with that, but um, this is the one I went with though. Fairly large compared to my 380 over here. My kel 380, which I bought cheap. Um, but like I said, that's a pocket gun and pretty rough shape. I bought it used for like 100, I think it was 100 or 125 dollars. It was cheap. Uh, somebody had it. Actually, the neighbor that lives next to my grandparents had originally had it and then it got swap through a couple people within a few days so ended up getting it um but like i said i just wanted a bigger gun so i got the nine millimeter now and uh, i really do think i'll like it it's also got the uh, fiber optic sight they call it uh, up there top it's red you can replace those they've got um i think a pink one and a um green one i can put in there if i want but i probably leave it red um but like I said, the biggest thing with me that I liked, um, besides the grip, I actually do like the rougher grip, is you get the safety right here. And uh, let's see if you can see it. There you go, right there. So that was the big thing for me. There's a little indicator right there that comes up when it's loaded, um, just allows you to see it. But um, anyway, I may shoot it here in a minute if it don't get too windy like it is right now. Um, but that's what I bought today. I think I'll really like it. I'm gonna buy me a holster for it so that I can uh, carry it concealed. Um, but I got an older one. Uh, I think I'm gonna get a crossbreed holster, which is what a lot of people like, I think. Um, but anyway, that's the two of them, my two little concealed guns. I may keep this one in my car or truck um, just to have it on me, uh, like in the vehicle. But um, like I said, my personal carry, I'll probably 
maybe start carrying that. Uh, but I think it's a really nice gun. Feels good in your hand. Um, but anyway, might try to go shoot here in a second. We'll see. I decided I'll go ahead and shoot. Uh, I'm just like 30 feet away. Uh, just gonna stand about where this chair is. Uh, just wanna see if I can even hit anything with it, which I've bought it, so I better learn. But I'll set it up, just shoot for a second. Maybe shoot two magazines. I was shooting all over the place. I was high and to the left most of the time. Let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. They were all over the place for whatever reason. I'm just not used to it. I have to try to shoot some more, but first couple were up here and then they were just sort of wild. That one was dead on. But uh, I'll have to practice some more. I hope the sights aren't off. I don't even know if you can adjust them. But I think it's probably just me not used to the gun. But I'm gonna shoot it a few more times and check it out and uh, may go shoot my buddy this afternoon if he's around he may want to wait till another day but we'll see hope everybody's having a good day today it's the next day uh, I ended up not uh, finishing up the video from yesterday I went to my buddy's house and uh, visited for a little while and then uh, went to supper and ended up going back and we stayed over there till about 11 o'clock I think it was 10:30, 11 o'clock and so at that point it was just too late to uh finish up the video i would you know it had been two o'clock before i got done so i didn't want to worry with it so i thought i'd just join the two videos it'd just be a really long video since i did the uh shooting yesterday um but i did do a little thinking on that i think i figured out what i was doing wrong uh shooting uh getting them all to the left a little bit i think it's all about how i was holding um the gun and pulling the trigger um read some stuff on it and i think it's just the the way my finger was over it and i kind of watched myself if i was you know to see if i was pulling a little bit and i think it was it's called pushing i guess because i didn't have enough finger on the trigger um so i'm going to get used to just shooting that type of gun because i'm used to shooting a big uh 357 six inch barrel and it's just a whole different uh way of shooting when you're shooting with a semi-auto and it's a conceal nine real thin so I'm gonna do a lot more shooting and try to get accurate with it but uh, I think it'll still be a good shooting gun I just think it's gonna be a big learning curve um, but anyway but like I said up and down it's shooting good it's just my left and right I was just pushing it to the left a little bit and that was messing me up so I think I'll figure out what I'm doing wrong but I was gonna go inside we just visited my grandparents we went to church and then visited there and it's starting to rain a little bit so I was gonna uh, get my camera out I saw it in the or I knew it was in the truck and I wanted to get it out before it really started raining and uh, I just thought I'd give you an update so I'm gonna head back inside I may work on my computer I got some stuff I need to finish so I'm gonna go do that I'm sitting here editing the video um, eating some ice cream as well um, I was about to head to bed too after I get done so um, we didn't do much this evening uh, it rained a little bit like I said um, probably mid-afternoon and then quit and then me and TJ made supper we made rice and pork chops so got done with that got it all cleaned up and uh, he left and like I said everybody's going to bed so I was gonna head to bed myself so I got some work to do tomorrow some uh, uh, I guess spring cleaning on some yards gotta uh, just pick up sticks trim some crepe myrtles and things so nothing big uh, but I'm gonna do that tomorrow so I'm gonna go ahead and try to get to bed early that way I don't uh, stay up too late and I can get an early start in the morning so anyway I'm gonna let you go hope you had a good day today and I will see you again tomorrow <laughs>